<clears throat> hey everybody, how are you guys doing? Super excited. This is again our first uh, video coming back, second video coming back from a long time of not making any videos. This is my home in Jerusalem, next to Jerusalem. It's called Kochav Yaakov, the Star of Jacob is where we live. It's a, it's a small village outside of Jerusalem. It's very beautiful and quiet and peaceful. And when the, when the Beit HaMikdash, when the, when the third temple will be built, it, it says that we'll be able to see the temple from where we live. We'll be able to see the, uh, the fire. There'll be a pillar of fire on the temple in the middle. Because when God, when you make a sacrifice of an animal in the temple, God accepts it with a pillar of fire and elevates the energy. And so we'll be able to see this pillar of fire on the temple always. From here, from my home. Isn't that exciting? So today I want to read, and we want to, I want to start with you guys a really beautiful book. It's pretty short. It's called The Song of the Grasses by Rav Ofer Erez, who is a very, very holy Breslov Rav, Rabbi. Uh, he lives in, uh, I believe he lives in Jerusalem, um, and he, he, all his lectures are in Hebrew, but I'm very grateful that I can read this book. It's ver written very simply. It's very beautiful, and uh, we're going to read it. It's about, it's about talking with Hashem, talking with the Creator. First part is like this. The first part is talking about Bodedut. What is it, Bodedut? Id Bodedut is really, literally means secluding yourself. It uh, means talking with the Creator in a place that's quiet, there's no people around, that you're able to talk with your heart, whatever you're meant to say, whatever you want to say to the Creator. Because the main point, the main essence of our lives is our connection to God, our connection to, the, to, our, to our Creator. And that connection is in the mind and in the heart. And some people miss one element, you know, the, the mind is you know learning and studying and internalizing and the heart is about feeling and both of those are excellent tools to connect to the creator but with when you talk things out loud you're able to use both you're able to talk about your thoughts and share your thoughts with God and you're also able to share your feelings with God and so it's a beautiful way to really connect with God and to bring in your whatever you're going through that day whatever you're feeling and so it starts like this Oilanu, Oilanu means like wow, it it's it's you know how low are we that we don't take the proven medicine that everyone had, and that is one hour with God to talk to God every day. That's from Rabbi Alexander Moshe Lapidot in his book Divrei Emet, the words of truth. Now, with Hashem's help, we will see that. This Torah is from Torah Nun Bet 42 in Likutim Aran from, from Rabbi Nachman. That is known that this Torah is the, the, um, the central pillar, the foundation of it Bodhidut, of talking with God. And this, this, about this, Rabbi Nachman said, Rabbi Nachman said, this is the greatest level of all. To talk to God is the greatest level of all. People think, oh, I take a, a prayer book and I talk to God. And this is great. This is wonderful. And this is perfect. Wonderful. It's true. It's great. But to speak with your own words, according to Rabbi Nachman, is a much, it's the greatest level there is. It's greater than written prayers. It's greater than everything else. And in truth, it's not a new thing. It's really already been brought in the Torah and the Bible from a long time ago. Rabbi Nachman lived in the 1800s. And this is not a new thing, it says. That really, it's a long, it's, it's an ancient thing. Everyone knows this. That it's brought in books that a person is able to achieve through one, through one hour of the Dut, he's able to achieve all the things that he came to this world to do. Because we say that every soul, when it comes down to the world, Every person has a soul inside and every soul comes down to the world and it has something specific to fix, to do in this world because every person is a piece of the puzzle and what you do is that piece, little piece of the whole huge puzzle of creation and then when you do yours and I do mine and everyone does their special piece, that's why we say every person is special, is important, is unique, that unique soul does their, that soul's unique mission and the whole world, the picture is complete and the redemption comes. And so I depend on you, and you depend on the other person. Everyone depending, waiting for you to do your part. And when each person is doing their part, it helps, it helps everyone else do their part. And so that's what we learn. 
Uh, and that is a very special thing. And that each person should do their, should find, should look, where's my part? How do I do my part? And how do you do your part? How do you find what it is? You ask God to help you reveal to me, God, what is my part to do in this world, to fix in this world. Thank you guys very much. You should all find your your important missions in this world. You should all do them with joy and happiness and gladness and gratitude and success in all your endeavors. Talk to you soon.